You gotta be kidding me with this Colleen Thomas. Get out of here! <laughs> what is this? I watched this girl on YouTube. I don't watch her. I know of her from YouTube. But of course, she was recently on the news here uh, with her with her the Adian Plajar and story. And uh, I guess I've never talked about what I what my thoughts on uh, aliens are, but I'll I'll do that in another video. But this Colleen Thomas, she takes the cake, buddy. I mean, this is this might be we might have a new Darwin Award winner here with Colleen Thomas. I mean, she's uh she's phenomenal, and this is what I love about people like this. Okay, all right, if you channel entities from another star system or whatever, and they're talking to you and they're giving you information, and I'm listening to you, uh, <laughs> and I'm hearing what you say, the words that come out of your mouth, if it's incoherent and it makes no sense, then I'm kind of glad that these alien beings aren't making any contact because I don't want to hear this trouble anymore. But this Colleen Thomas, she takes the cake. I tell you what. She sells her videos on YouTube because she, I think she was probably a, a porn star before or, you know, she's definitely spent $10,000 on her tits. So she's, you know, she's built right, uh, made of plastic, that is. But she's, uh, she sells her videos on YouTube. She rents them and she will intentionally do her videos in bathing suits. So people will pay $30 to rent them and she'll get 4,000 views. 4,000 people will pay her $30 so that they can listen to her ramble out this nonsense about this contact. Well, here's the thing. First of all, if you want to stand up and claim that you're having contact with beings from another world, in my opinion, you should have some information that is, mm, let's say, makes sense. Yeah, what you say should not only make sense, but it would be coming from a a higher perspective. It would literally be coming from a point of view that wasn't human, that was beyond human. And then I definitely don't think it would be telling you to sell your your the information that it's providing you for thirty dollars per video. So this is just a cheers out to Colleen Thomas. You are an idiot, but you're a genius at marketing. I mean you're a TV's dream. <laughs> yeah. What is wrong with the world? Here's what surprises me, though. Her videos will get 100,000 views. 100,000 people will watch this nonsense and believe it. And I guess my, so what really I don't understand about all this is that you've got these... Uh, I just know this. If I was being contacted, I've never been contacted. Not by any alien beings, no Jesus, no, no Satan. Nothing. Nothing talks to me. I don't know where these folks are, but, you know, hey, if you're out there and you're talking to people, come talk to me. I got some questions, you know, and I would be a great mouthpiece for you. I would actually propagate your message. If aliens landed tomorrow or tonight in my yard and I went outside and had a conversation with them, I'd be a great spokesperson. I, You know, I would tell everybody. But that's never happened. You know, I've never seen anything. But I'll tell you what. If it did, <laughs> if it did, I would require some proof. I'm sorry. I would re I'm would. i just that rational. I would require some proof. If aliens are coming and talking to you, take your video camera and video them. Show me. And and I would require the same thing. I'd be like, look, y'all ain't telling me shit. I'm not listening to nothing unless I can videotape this conversation. You know, you want me to go to the world and tell this, tell them some story on your behalf, you're going to give me some proof that I can take to people who are not going to believe this because it's, you know, uh, well, it sounds like a bunch of horse shit, <laughs> but you're going to give me some proof, something I can take to them and say, here, here's the video, here's something tangible you can put in your hand. Uh, it would be that simple. So any of you out there who are making you these great claims, and especially the ones like Colleen Thomas that are selling their great claims uh, at a cost of $30 per video, uh, if you're doing that, uh, show me some proof. Other than some nonsense, I've heard the ramblings, I've heard you talk. Again, I hope this information isn't coming from Starborn, because <laughs> if it is, Sorry.
If you're going to say something like this, though, and you're going to give people the impression that these races are contacting you, you better have something to say. Something that makes sense. Something that's impressive. Something that answers the great questions that humans have been asking since the day we were born. Because you just come on the news and ramble and talk about a bunch of nonsense that actually later doesn't even happen. How do you still have subscribers, Colleen? I mean, seriously. If I said, in five minutes, an alien ship is going to manifest right here in my kitchen, and let's just wait. And then we sat and we waited, and it didn't happen? Wouldn't that affect my credibility? I mean, wouldn't you, as a thinking person, go, hmm, this person just told me this was going to happen, and it didn't happen. Wouldn't that affect my credibility? Why is it that it doesn't affect Colleen Thomas's credibility? I mean, are we just that stupid? Are we really this dumb that we will hear this stuff and buy it, swallow it, and pretend it's real? And, and not stand up and say anything against it? That really concerns me, too. That's my question. How does, how does Colleen have, still have all these subscribers? How does her videos get 100,000 views? You people listening to this, you agree? You, you think what she's saying is accurate? Truthful? Makes any sense? Does it make any sense? That's what I want to know. When you listen to this information, does it make any sense to you? Or does a little meter in your head go off that goes, hey, this is just bullshit. So that's exactly, that's all I can hear. That's all I can hear. Every time she opens her mouth and talks and talks and talks, and all I hear is bullshit. That's what the meter in my head says. That's what my heart says. And I guess that's what it comes down to is I just don't believe you, Colleen. I just don't believe you at all. I think you're lying. I, I think you're either so lying, maybe you have some mental problems, maybe you're unstable. I don't know. I don't know. All I, all I know is that I don't believe a word that comes out of your mouth. Have a good night. ICP chat on Twitter. Thanks for listening.